Hey guys, welcome to this new video. Um, for this video, guys, I want to talk about sequels that should happen. You know, film sequels that have been promised to us for a while that I think really should happen because I think the fans would want them. I want them. Um, just people who go to the movie theater in general will probably want to see them too. So this video is all about sequels I've heard about, you know, sequels that have been planned that really should happen because I think people would like them. I think the sequ these sequels would be good for that franchise they're meant to be a part of. Um, so this video is all about that. So first off, guys, um, the first video, the first film we have on here on the list is Top Gun 2. Now, first off, most of you probably know that Tony Scott did die recently. He committed suicide, unfortunately. Um, but he has been promising the fans Top Gun 2 for a long time. In fact, I think even sometime before he died, he um, he was looking for filming locations, I guess, for, for Top Gun 2. Uh, he said Tom Cruise would come back for it if he made it. Um, and I think they should still make it. You know, I know he's gone now, but... Um, I think maybe just assigning his brother Ridley Scott might be kind of cool, uh, you know, dedicated to in memory of him, you know, and stuff like that. Um, and there's just a lot of other really good directors out there that can make a good action sequel. Um, so I think Top Gun 2 should happen. I think a lot of people would want that. Um, Jurassic Park 4, that's been promised for a while. Uh, kind of like with Tony Scott, Michael Crichton's been dead for a while. And I heard that that's kind of one of the reasons why it's been taking him so long to make the movie. Um, but I think Steven Spielberg or Joe Johnston would want to come back for it. I think Spielberg already said he wouldn't do it already. So more than likely it'll probably be Joe Johnston from Jurassic Park 3. And I heard it's going to have the same writers as Rise of the Planet of the Apes. So that might be good because I really enjoyed that film. Um... Yeah, I think Jurassic Park 4 just should happen. I mean, there's probably going to be more CGI than the first three films. Um, but if they get like someone like Sam Neill or Jeff Goldblum or someone along that line again, uh, who appeared in the first three films at some point, I think a, a fourth film could work. I think they could make a good script and, you know, hire the right people for the job. Um, so I think Jurassic Park 4 should happen. Um some people probably really don't want this one, but I think they should make it because it's been promised for a while, and I was a huge fan of the original. I think a sequel could really work if they pursue it the way I'm about to tell you. Um, there's been rumors of a sequel to a series of unfortunate events, you know, the Lemony Snicket books being turned into movies. Um, the original had Jim Carrey in it. It had, um, you know, Meryl Streep, Billy Connolly. Uh, a lot of people were in it. Um, I hope for the sequel, because it's they've been taking them so long to actually sit down and make the sequel, it would be stop-motion animation like Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, I heard most of the people who appeared in the first film are going to voice act in this one, um, and they're going to kind of film it like Nightmare Before Christmas, like stop-motion figurines. You know, they can still maintain the dark look that Brad Silberling started. Um, I think a sequel could work. I think, at least, you know, if they... Kind of what they did with the first film where they made it the first three books and, you know, give the ending of the first book at the end of the, of the movie from those first three books. I think for the next one, you know, they should do like books four, five, and six in the tradition of the first film. Uh, you, don't, you know, just three more books just to make it plain and simple and make sure it fits the runtime. Um, I think a, a sequel could work. Um, Jim Carrey said he'd already do it. Um, so, you know, why not? Why not make a stop motion sequel to a series of unfortunate events? Um, Beverly Hills Cop 4 has been promised for a while. Brett Ratner actually said that he's interested in directing this one. Um, he said he's enjoyed ed working with Eddie Murphy for Tower Heist, so he said that's why he really wants to make the fourth film. Uh, he did, um, X-Men 3, and I think he did, um, what else? He did, like, Family Man and a couple of other stuff. Uh, but I remember really liking Tower Heist back when I saw that, um, so Beverly Hills Cop 4 has been promised for a while, and I, I think it should happen. You know, we haven't seen a Axel Foley played by Eddie Murphy in a long time. Um, I think it'd be kind of a cool movie to see, kind of like what happened to Axel Foley many years down the road. Um, you know, I think a fourth film could work. Now, I'm, I'm both hesitant, and I'm also willing to see it if they get the right people back, but they got to have the right people back in order for me to want to go see this. Um, there's been talks of an ET2 for a while. Um, and like I said, I, I, I need the right people back in order for me to want to see it and for the fans who, who would want to see it too. Uh, you know, they got to have Spielberg back, the same writers back. Um, but I heard like 
E.T. would come back to Earth for some reason, like something bad happened on his home planet uh, for all these years. And uh, he comes back to Earth and he finds Elliot as an adult or something like that. Um, I guess it's been planned out, penned down for a while. But because Spielberg loves that film so much, and that's kind of the film that represents him so much, um, I heard that's kind of why he's been postponing it for so long. Um, I... I could go both ways. I can say, you know, I love the first film so much, kind of like what Spielberg said. I'd be cool not seeing a sequel because I, I just love the original so much. I'd just be cool seeing, you know, like a 3D re-release or a Blu-ray re-release that's, you know, better than ever. Um, so sequel may or may not work. Uh, but like I said, I, I, I want to do what Spielberg wants to do. And if he doesn't want to make a sequel, we don't need the sequel. But... I'd be definitely willing to see it if Spielberg came back and he managed to get the original people back for it. Like, like what if Drew Barrymore appeared in the film again and stuff like that. Um, Warren Beatty said that before he retires, he wants to make Dick Tracy too. But that being said, I don't know if that means that Dick Tracy's older in this one because Warren Beatty's older. If he's going to hire a different actor to play him since he's kind of old for the role now. Uh, but he said that he wants to make a sequel, and the reason why it's been taking him so long is he claims that it takes him a long time to make a movie, I guess. Um, I, I'd be willing to see it. I mean, it's, you know, even if he didn't come back as Dick Tracy, I think it'd be kind of cool if he directed it again, because I like the first film a lot. Um, so Dick Tracy 2 may or may not happen. I'd be willing to see it. Um, James Cameron said he wants to make Avatar 2 and Avatar 3, you know, an Avatar trilogy. And there's been rumors of a fourth film, but I haven't heard too many details about it. Uh, for, but from what I know, Avatar 2 is going to take place on the ocean life of Pandora. There's going to be some type of Earth creature fight versus the ocean creature people or something like that. And I heard Avatar 3 might be about Jake Sully's kids. You know, like what's it like to grow up as a Navi and something happens at that time that causes an Avatar 3 story to happen. Um, so I'd be willing to see two more movies. Fourth one might be pushing it, because I did like the first Avatar film. I don't know if I wanted to make it a series of four, though. I think a trilogy would work better for that kind of a thing. Um, Josh Whedon said he wants to make Avengers 2 and Avengers 3. Um, I know Avengers 2 for sure he wants to do. I I, I know he. I think he just said he, he's willing to do an Avengers 3, but he'll have to see how Avengers 2 goes and how long it'll take him to prep it since they got to make you know, a bunch of other Marvel films like Iron Man 3 and Ant-Man and all that stuff before the next one comes out. Um, I'm definitely more than up for seeing that. I think Avengers 2 should definitely happen. You know, it made a ton of money, very good storyline. Josh Whedon definitely proved himself that he knows what it takes to make a good comic book film adaptation. Uh, so a a Avengers 2 should for sure happen, and if at all possible, and Avengers 3 should happen as well. Um, Pixar fans have been craving this since the original film came out. Um, a lot of Pixar fans wanted an Incredibles 2 to be made, and I'm definitely in that group. I know at one point they made a Rise of the Underminer video game, which took place after the first Incredibles film. Um, maybe take the, maybe loosely, basically off that video game, and then, you know, make their own script. Uh, you know, like, so like you can take parts from that game but make it more suitable for a movie. And I think that could be a very good Incredibles 2 movie. Um, but Pixar, for some reason, is stubborn about it. So I think they should do it. You know, I think people would want to see it. I think they should give what the fans want uh, and be creative with it like they always are. Uh, so Incredibles 2, I'd be definitely more than up for seeing. Uh, Disney has promised a Tron 3 for a while because Tron Legacy did so well, and Cillian Murphy claims he wants to come back and make his character bigger for the sequel. Um, I would definitely be up for that. I heard Olivia Wilde would come back for it, and the guy who played, um, oh, what's his name, Kevin Flynn's son, Sam Flynn, would come back. Um, I think a Tron 3 could work. They just got to make sure the right script happens and that they give us what they promised us you know with the whole silly and murphy as a villain thing and everything and then last but not least because um for some weird reason bill murray really doesn't want to do this he's been saying it for years and it's been questions there's been up in the air questions about it ever since he's been postponing it um ghostbusters 3 uh for some reason he really doesn't want to do it he um 
uh, he stated on talk shows and all that kind of stuff that you know if the, I'll be back in it if they kill me off in the first scene. Um, I, I think he just doesn't want to do it. I think he just because Ghostbusters two was not very successful, like it wasn't as successful as the first film. I think he's definitely just one of those people where he's like, you know what, let's just put in the past. You know, we've all moved on. You know, he wants to continue to do like Wes Anderson films and stuff that's been actually making money and making good reviews and everything. Um, I like to see Ghostbusters three, but if they really can't get everybody back, and if Harold Ramis or um, was it here? Yeah, I think Harold Ramis or no, it wasn't him. Ivan Rittman, I think, directed those movies. Um, or even Harold Ramis, even if they can get him to direct it, I think that could be cool. But as far as like getting everybody together, I think they should recruit as much as the original cast as possible. Um, and let's just get a way to get Bill Murray to convince him to come back. Because, I mean, just make the movie, get it out of your system. They won't bother you about it anymore, you know. Uh, so Ghostbusters 3, I think, should happen too. Uh, so leave a comment down below, you guys, if you think... Uh, of a certain th sequel that should happen, or if you think one of these ones I just stated should not happen or whatever. Um, so hopefully I'll see you guys for this next video, and um, hopefully we'll get all these sequels at some point.